Hey YouTube, Jeff checking in. It's been a long time since I've done a video, so I thought I'd do a, a quick video here today on 500px. Now, uh, many of you are familiar with 500px, and uh, as a as a social media sharing site for uh, photographers, uh, great site, great community. I find uh, a little less narcissistic than than um, Instagram, for example. Um, but what I want today is not just what I wanted to talk about today is not just 500px uh, as a community for sharing photos, but um, in terms of licensing and um, talk about some of my experiences from uh, licensing uh, when the uh, 500px marketplace used to exist uh, compared to now uh, under the new sort of uh, licensing process or regime that they have uh, sort of post um, changes when when they started using Getty and uh, another Chinese company as a, as a distributor. So I want to talk to you about uh, the uh, results I've seen as far as licensing goes, the differences in the amounts that I used to make and, and what I'm making now uh, licensing. And I should say past tense because uh, if you'll stick around uh, later into this video, you'll see that I'm in the process of uh, completely re removing any of my photographs from um, the licensing under 500px uh, just because I don't think that the uh, results are, are appropriate and, and I'll go through that um, in detail so uh, why don't we go to the computer and I'll, uh, I'll uh, give you a little quick lay of the land. Okay so I'm at the 500px um, licensing page easily found on the uh, the main menu tabs and what I'm going to talk about before I go into my individual sales history is I'm going to just show you the licensing uh, knowledge base which kind of gives or sets out the rules for how licensing works and the reason why I want to do this first is I just want to point out how you know void of information this actually is so it gives a quick um, overview of uh, what it means to actually license a photograph uh, as opposed to sell, say, make a sale because I think a lot of people don't necessarily know the difference between licensing and selling. Uh, it also talks about exclusive versus non-exclusive options and that just basically means that you're selling or licensing only through uh, 500px if you're uh, exclusive and if you're not exclusive you might submit your, your uh, photos for sale to a number of different uh, micro stocks or mid stocks or or whatever sites that you're working with or uh, licensing photos through. So that's the general rule on, or the general very short overview of the uh, licensing. Then it just says how to become a contributor, you know, how do you submit? I don't want to talk about these things necessarily in any detail, but I just want to show you um, how limited the information actually is. Then it has some submission requirements on the technical side and um, and what they look for as far as accepting images from a technical perspective. Then there's a section on releases, so when you need a model release, when you don't. Then there's a section on how to keyword your images. Um, pretty straightforward stuff there. Uh, content type, so we're talking about creative versus uh, editorial. Sometimes we talk about uh, royal royalty-free verse editorial, what the difference is between those two types of images are and how they can be used. And then there's a section on uh, distribution. So it explains the distribution partners, um, Getty and VCG, which I think stands for Visual China Group. Uh, not 100 percent sure on that, but I think, uh, yeah, Visual China Group. Uh, so those are the two companies that uh, i500px uses to uh, distribute the images. Now this is the knowledge base and you'll see that uh, there's precious little on the uh, amount of money available for you to earn when you license either as a exclusive or as a uh, non-exclusive uh, participant in this licensing program. Now you can find some information on this through their main page when you just go into licensing. There is a page here, it's about licensing. It says, sell your photos and get paid up to 60% royalties. That's important because that sounds really good. And that's for uh, exclusively licensed 
uh, photos. It doesn't really say anything about uh, what you uh, can expect as a non-exclusive, and it doesn't provide any uh, table or breakdown on uh, when and how uh, your royalty rate will be determined. So when you'll get 30% versus 60%. And then it also doesn't say what that actually equates to. Um, and if, if you're familiar with many of the other Microstock sites, they do provide some, a little bit more clarity on what you can expect uh, from the sale of a single image um, and what to expect when a different type of license is uh, acquired by a purchaser. So if it's a if it's a you know a single time uh, limited use license, you'll get less than if it's a, a significant um, like a, a a full use kind of maximum number of prints kind of things. You'll get maybe a, a larger share or a larger license fee for selling that image. Uh, the point isn't to talk about that stuff necessarily, except to say that most sites give you some insight into the amount you'll make when um, making a sale under those licenses. Uh, here, I, you know, unless you guys can can help me out, I found found nothing to show um, how much you're going to make when making a sale. And I I I uh, I think it's important um, when you actually see. Uh, what what the percentage equates to so the percentage sounds great but if it's a percentage of nothing then it's you know it's not super valuable okay I'm taking you back in time now because uh, I, I really want you to see how their royalty rate uh, can impact on the amount of sales so I'm on my licensing or my sales history page and this is back in the old 500px marketplace. And so I'm just going to show you, so you get a sense of the amount that I was I was making on images when I was selling them under that marketplace. And so here you have the royalty rate is 30%. Uh, 500px share was 35. Mine was 15. Uh, same here, 30%. They took 50%, $50 basically. I took $21 basically. Third, uh, the same image sold again, $35 was their share, 15 was mine. So it was a significant um, chunk of change. And uh, for a site that I was already participating in and uh, uploading to, uh, it just made a lot of sense for me as a, as a non-photographer uh, only selling through Microstock to upload and sell through this um, process. And so when it was announced that uh, Getty and uh, BCG were taking over distribution, I thought I'd stick around, at least as a licensor and sort of uh, experience spirits and see how, how it would go. And so now that I'm, I've am i got sales trickling in and uh, I can give you a sense of how that's changed, I'll show you uh, the kind of sales that I'm making now. Okay, so I'll go back up to the top uh, with my newest sales. And I, I don't know when they update the list or what the sales. So I just got an email that, had a whole bunch of November sales uh, just now. So there's a little bit of time lag and uh, I'm, take, I'm making this video on January 12th. So it was, I just got this email the last couple of days. And you can see uh, my royalty rate is still 30%, but 500 PX's share on this first image is eight cents and my share is four cents. The next one down, 500 PX share is 17 cents and mine is seven. This one, the third image from the top, uh, 500px share is 67 cents, mine is 29, which is a little bit better. Um, here's another one, 500px's share is 17 cents, mine is 7 cents. So I went from making uh, 30, 20, 30 dollars or 20 dollars with my 30 percent, and now I'm making uh, 4 cents an image with my 30 percent. Now, I don't know what gets me to a higher percentage other than switching to exclusive. Um, but, you know, quite frankly, if if I'm going to get, if I go exclusive and then start making 60% uh, of eight cents, like, uh, like the, uh, the entire thought of doing that is ridiculous. And in fact, the entire uh, thought of selling images uh, for four cents or seven cents um, a pop, or, you know, four cents. Like it's just, uh, it's just something that I'm not gonna do. Like here's four percent, four cents, four cents. Like it's just, uh, 
it's just not going to happen for me. And so based on the, um, the sales that have been coming in, uh, following the change from the 500 PX marketplace to having Getty and VCG as distributors, uh, based on the sample of sales that I have now, it's in my view, it makes no sense for anyone to, um, to license their images through this process. Now, maybe if you're exclusive and, and you're making 60% of eight cents, um, that's fine, but it's, that's not good enough for me. Uh, even as a, as a small time, small fish in a big pond, I just don't. I don't care enough to make four cents to make it available for four cents. I, you know, I'm not a great, I'm not like the world's best photographer. You know, I'm, you know, I'm a working class blue collar photographer out, you know, having fun, but there's no way I'm selling my images for four cents. I personally give it to them for free on request rather than get paid four cents for an image. So I've been going through the process of um, taking my images off uh, the marketing part of the site, uh, I have to do that individually. So I have to go through each image and, uh, individually select them and remove them from being licensed. I'm going through that process now. And apparently it takes up to, I can't remember if it was six months or three months for them to be removed from the, uh, the distributor websites, Getty or, uh, VCG. Um, so I'm doing that right now and I've gone through and I've probably removed about 50% of the images that I'm selling right now and I'm going to go through and get rid of the rest. Now, uh, I'm really hoping that um, this insight into the, uh, into the amount of money that's actually available via a licensing mechanism through 500px will be helpful to you people that are thinking about... Um, about engaging in this as well so that's that's a look at the at the website um and the licensing section and you know my a quick overview of what i'm making now as opposed to uh what i was making before when it was you know 56 dollars or sorry i was making 24 13 like 21 21 44 it was a it was a huge difference so i uh, just wanted to share that and uh yeah so uh, back to you, the camera now. Okay, I hope that was helpful. Um, I'd love to hear what uh, you guys have uh, to say as far as experiences go. Uh, in, particularly, in particular, I'd like to hear about uh, experiences of anyone that's actually um, registered as an exclusive uh, under the licensing process on 500px because I am a non-exclusive contributor. So yeah, I'd love to hear about uh, your experiences with 500px to see if mine are way off base or if, you know, something's going on that I don't know about. Uh, yeah, so let me know your comments. And uh, otherwise, I'd love to have you subscribe to my channel and uh, watch uh, future content as it comes available, hopefully on a regular basis. And uh, yeah, look forward to seeing you guys in the, on the next one.